Okay, a uh, quick update about my lab test from the University of Utah Medical Center that I did about a month ago, September 10th. The skin biopsy looks pretty good, uh, at least nothing bad that we didn't want to find. Uh, it shows that I have dermatitis, which is skin allergies. Obviously, I've, I've had that for my whole life, so nothing, nothing surprising about that. The in, eosinophils are high. Uh, and eosinophils are a type of white blood cells that you shouldn't have too much in your skin. So hopefully that'll come down if we can do something, whatever it is we're going to do. Um, my skin's kind of thick, obviously, rashes and stuff. The good thing was there's no evidence of any underlying tumors in my lymph nodes, which was what we were trying to look for with the skin biopsy. Uh, so making sure that my lymph nodes are normal and fine, we can go ahead with this drug called cyclosporin. So we're trying to use cyclosporin to kind of tone down my immune system so I wouldn't react with everything to my environment so much and not be able to go out. So we'll be trying cyclosporin for about three to six weeks and see, slowly work that into my system and see how that goes. Uh, the, the bad part was the, the blood test for my food allergies didn't come out too well. Uh, basically everything that we tested for that I eat now, I'm highly allergic to. So keep in mind that anything above 0 0.1 is high and considered allergic. So everything is way above 0 0.1. Uh, let's run down the list. Beef is 3.6. That's the lowest. Lettuce, 9.8. Chicken, 14.4. Broccoli, 15.6. Carrots, 20.6. Cabbage, 21.6. Rice, 24.2. And I eat that just about every day in every meal. Apples, 34.1. And peach, 39.4. And I, I had no, no idea about the fruits. Apples and peach, I, I eat that all the time. And thought they were supposed to be healthy for you and obviously it is for other people but but not for me um, milk 48.8 that that I always thought it was I was really allergic to I, you could just sprinkle a little bit of milk on me and I, I'd just be a goner I'd be in the ER so fast but for milk to be as close to peach just 10 points apart no idea and shrimp's the real killer it's above 100 so yeah I don't even want to smell shrimp um, so, anyway, that's, that's the big problem, right? <clears throat> what can I eat? Obviously nothing so far, and I don't even know how I'm alive today, that I'm not deformed from malnutrition or, or have stunted growth, because I, I looking at this list, I, I don't even know how I'm able to eat anything and, and still be alive, but we're going to have to f find some way to to fix that, I mean, right now, just since this everything came came out so negative, I'm just gonna have to go with the liquid diet that I talked about last time, the Elecare. Uh, it has everything you need in a day, but it, it's it's a liquid diet. It goes through my system half an hour after I drink a cup, and I I take four to five cups a day, but I'm still hungry all the time, and so that that's not gonna be fun. Hopefully we'll do some more testing and actually find maybe one or two things that that's closer to point one that I'm not that allergic to. And um, here's Elecare. Just let you guys see, unflavored, a good kind. Yeah, I can eat this all day, baby. Um, well, I think that's about that's about it for now. I'll be take, taking cyclosporin for a couple of weeks and head back up to Utah probably early November, do a ch another checkup with the doctors and maybe do some more blood tests and see how the cyclosporin is going. Hey, just realize something. I'll be 26 when I update you next from Utah. It's exactly two weeks away from my birthday, October 22nd. Woohoo! Uh, glad I made it this far, huh? Thanks for watching.